Unlocking the power of gerunds. Verbs love to follow gerunds. Hello, language learners. Today we're diving deep into the heart of English grammar. We're focusing on a very specific, but incredibly powerful tool. Verbs followed by gerunds. You've already learned what gerunds are, verbs in their ing form that function as nouns. Now, let's see how they pair up with other verbs to create meaningful expressions. When we talk about verb plus gerund combinations, we mean situations where one verb is followed directly by another verb in its gerund form. This means the second verb will end in ing. For example, in the sentence, I enjoy playing football, enjoy is the main verb and playing is the gerund. There are many verbs that are commonly followed by gerunds. Some of these include enjoy, avoid, suggest, consider, miss, quit, practice, and postpone. These verbs often express likes, dislikes, and other preferences or habits. For example, she misses living in the city, or we postpone traveling due to the weather. One reason we use verb plus gerund combinations is to express continuous or ongoing actions. When the main verb is in a continuous tense, the gerund shows the action is not complete. For example, they are considering buying a new car. Here, the buying process is not yet complete. While many verbs are followed by gerunds, remember that there are exceptions. Some verbs can be followed by either gerunds or infinitives, sometimes with a change in meaning. For example, I stopped smoking, I quit, versus, I stopped to smoke, I paused my activity to smoke. Moreover, not all verbs that express preference or habits are followed by gerunds. For example, I prefer to read, and, I choose to live in the city, use infinitives, not gerunds. Always refer to a reliable source when in doubt. There you have it. Verbs followed by gerunds can be a great tool to express continuous actions, preferences, and habits. Remember, practice makes perfect. The more you use these verb plus gerund combinations, the more natural they'll feel. We hope this video shed some light on this interesting aspect of English grammar. Keep learning, keep practicing, and as always, enjoy the journey of language discovery.